Alex, what about the mental health checks and stuff for guns? It's absolutely ridiculous if I agree. If a psychiatrist, listen, they always act like none of this is there. If a psychiatrist, if a psychologist, and I think this is too easy, mm. simply files a report when you go in to see them with the mental health uh, uh, institutes under the CDC, you can never buy a gun again, and they're probably going to come to your house and confiscate all your guns. Mm. Adam Lanza, the, the uh, reported shooter at Sandy Hook, didn't try to buy guns that month before once, not twice, not three times, not four times. Five times he tried to buy those guns and then finally stole them from mommy. I yeah. mean, if I had a son bouncing off the walls on a bunch of different drugs, I sure as hell wouldn't have the AR-15s out laying around. Absolutely. Yeah, mommy was kind of worthless. Yes. In denial, that but dummy. But we can't count on mommy and daddy to do the proper thing. We should. Uh, more so than me being responsible, like they were, and every NRA member and every gun owner being responsible. Uh, she's and, a lot more responsible a, as our other parents in, that are guys, in denial. Guys, guys. In a perfect world, she shouldn't have had her, her guns obviously laying around yeah. like that. Exactly. But, but you're going to have that. Exactly. He Listen, they have the fourth most restrictive gun laws in the country yeah. in the great state of Connecticut. And he got the guns illegally. Right. Now, how did Holmes get the guns? He had a close to $30,000 federal government grant mm. in neuroscience. And, 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 and so Obama said, hey, if you got a small business, you didn't build that. Well, I, I guess in a way it's true. Obama really did build uh, this guy and allow him to attack. And his psychiatrist had a folder and even knew he was reportedly planning all this. But magically, nothing was done to stop it. So I just want to tell you guys right now, mm. you have not done your radio show the last you know, d you know, decades or whatever. You're not doing the show right now. The government, the state did it. Right. So I just think we should all recognize the fact that, you know, I mean, when I get on the toilet today uh, t to drop a deuce, I didn't do that. No, that's not you. That's not you. It, uh, the government does that. Uh, I'm, I'm really tired of them uh, uh, butting in. Um, in, in all of our rights, trying to take our rights away uh, under this Obama administration. It's, it looks like it's not happening to people that don't want to see it. But uh, we're getting so many of our rights taken away, and uh, the people are blind to it. Blind. Well, no, that's it. It's like, well, the NDAA will actually be used on right. partiers, conservatives, libertarians. You know Homeland Security? It's not set up for al-Qaeda anymore. Uh, it's for you. <laughs> and uh, you know what? Yeah, the NSA is listed, too, without warrants. And you know what? In, in, you know, 15 states, they've got federally funded checkpoints, gang checkpoints on highways. Well, we're going to search your car without a warrant. Yeah. Shut the highway down. And by the way, we're going to pass all the – Obama said, I'm not going to raise the taxes above $250,000 a year. And then 77% of Americans got a massive pay. Everyone looked at their check and freaked out. They're like, wait a minute. Uh, because, again, the, the, the people that are uninformed and ignorant – of what's going on are the first ones to start arguing with you ab about a, a subject they know nothing about. If they would have looked into it, they'd have seen that their everybody's taxes were going up. Exactly, and I'm not saying Mitt Romney was good either. He's bought and paid. Oh, exactly. Interest, and it's so frustrating when I'm telling one of these so-called liberals. Thomas Jefferson was a liberal. He said, let people do what they want in their own personal lives. Mm -hmm. Let people keep their money. Let people own guns. You know, let's empower the general population. That's a liberal. These modern people saying, turn my guns in, you know, that, that, that the French model of 80-plus percent tax yeah. is the way to go, where they put a 75 percent tax on everything above what you make at an 80 percent tax rate. <laughs> Jesus I, I mean, Christ. So, 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 ninety-something percent has to go to these people. These are leech authoritarians mm. who literally now have the nerve to tell us we didn't build our businesses, we didn't paint an oil painting, we didn't write a book, we didn't make a comedy record, a comedy CD, we didn't mm. do jack squat. No, a bunch of pinheaded bureaucrats are now so arrogant they're telling us that they run our lives. These people are the authoritarians, and I am sick and tired of them. And now they want our guns because they're going to collapse our society if they have their way. If we stand our ground, they will back off. But under Agenda 21, you can read their own documents, yeah. under this globalist plan, they want to implode the economy to make us poor and make us dependent on them. That's why food stamps in four years have gone from 25 million to 49 million, almost doubling, and they're set to double again in the next four years. America with 100 million people on electronic soup lines? <laughs> Exactly. And people don't see that as a bad thing. They see that as, well, liberals anyway, see that as something good. We're helping people. 
We're helping everyone. What we're doing is destroying the ambition and and uh, uh, everything that made this country great over the years uh, is being undermined and, exactly. and taken away. They put us down in a pit, and they're saying, rub the lotion on your skin. Yeah. We're like, no, let us out here. And they're like, no, we care about your skin. Rub the lotion on your skin. <laughs> yeah. So should we start the revolution now or like oh, man, wait a couple please. more years? Listen, I don't want a physical and who's going to fire the when first I, shot? Right. Sure, sure, when I say if they try to come for the gun, 1776 will commence, that is a fact because if you've got 150, 160 million gun owners, let's say 1% refuse to turn their guns in, that's <laughs> 1.5 million people. They want to have the revolution. I don't want to have the revolution physically. I want to mm. have it in the information war because we're actually starting to win that with the general public. All the statistics show that people are getting more and more liberty-minded, even if people are having to live off government assistance. The new study yeah. is showing they don't like it, and they know they've been made dependent with our jobs being shipped overseas, What's that? With, with $21 billion being spent yeah. to uh, ship General Motors to China. Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. And, and the mainstream media is, uh, are the ones that are really pushing in the other direction. I think the underground Internet, um, of course, uh, InfoWars, uh, those type of sites are the where you're getting that information out that is being countered by the mainstream media. Uh, it's it's quite a battle, though. But but look, you guys know the parable of the emperor's new clothes, where really he's been conned by con artists. He's butt naked, marching in front of everybody at the uh, parade, and then a three year old steps forward and says, "Look, the emperor's yeah. naked." Laughing at Get him. You in trouble. I, I've been to that CNN Center. I'm sure you guys have been there many times. I'm just guessing. Yeah, yeah. well, I'm that a Fox big guy. CNN, you know, they yes. have two big buildings there in New York. I'm on Red Eye tonight, yeah. by the way. Thank and, you. And and when I'm over there, yeah. I mean, I was over there ten years ago. I was over there five years ago. I was over there three years ago. It looked nice. There was literally filth all over the bathrooms, filth on the carpet. And I thought, did they put me in this thing on purpose? So I walked through the dressing rooms into the other green rooms where the Kennedys were at. And turned in there, and it was just as dirty. And then I was watching mm -hmm. Wolf Blitzer last night on Situation Room, and there was filth and dirt and black spots all over the big white floor with the stars on it. That place is absolutely rotting. Listen, <laughs> Piers Morgan is their top show yeah. and has 500, 556,000 viewers last year on his top Show mm -hmm. guys, you have millions. I mean, I don't know Ooh. your exact numbers, but you, I mean, how many millions yeah. of listeners do you have? Uh, I would, I think geez, about ten, quite a few. Okay, okay. Now you're there. You're not arrogant. You're not wearing big suits. At least not nah. studio, but you're not. Hopefully. You're not sitting there like you're royalty. Okay. No. Maybe five. Nope. But listen, these guys. This guy has a half. Hopefully two. Million viewers yeah. on a good day, uh, and we go to them like they're Moses on the mountain. Right. It's total fraud. Mm. Yeah, CNN had like 10 million viewers back in the mid-1990s. Well, that's because they yeah. that's because they push agendas like these stupid mental health checks for gun owners and, 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 and gun buyers and all these other things that nobody wants to hear, so people tune them out. You know what I think? I think the alternative real media, even though we're all diverse and have different ideas and uh -huh. don't agree on everything, I think we ought to have a week coming up in like a couple of months, where all the real media, where we wear royal crowns and gold outfits Ooh. and sit on thrones nice. and then have people dress up like Piers Morgan and others that come in and, you know, fan us and things. I look good while on the we I like it. I while we show statistics on the screen of how we've got much bigger audiences than them. Because if you do that, you want to destroy them, you mm. point out that they are paper tigers and frauds. That's the last domino to fall. Yeah. I'm telling you, that CNN Al center. Alex, yeah, Alex, it's terrible. Hold on, Alex. What's a paper tiger? I've always wanted to know that. Well, pay, okay, a, a real Bengal tiger, you know, wearing, uh, weighing thousands of pounds, sure, sure. Will, will, will literally rip your head off sure. in seconds, as you know. A paper tiger yes. uh, weighs about a pound, and it's painted paper mache, and it looks scary if you're 100 yards from it. Sure. If it was sitting in the jungle, but it actually can't do anything. But it's, it's a not fraud, a facade, uh, all talk. Exactly. Uh, like a rotten barn full of termites that when a big wind comes by is going to blow over. With an English accent. I, I, I have you. an off. A That's why our turkey bit didn't work, by the way. We used paper turkeys. Oh, I have an unrelated longer. question. Yes. Uh, you might know the answer to this. Whatever happened to Jesse's lawsuit with the, with the uh, Navy SEAL who said that he knocked him out? Is right. that still pending or right. has that been settled or do you know? Well, I just want to be clear. I don't want to get too much into it because remember, I told you guys he was going to sue him. I didn't yes. make that up. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I know Jesse. I've been around him with military and stuff. Yeah. I mean, he would have had to. Uh, 
been an evil clone to do that. That's why I knew. And when I told him, he's like, Alex, don't call me in Mexico with this. And I'm like, he's like, Alex, come on. This is a really nasty joke. What are you and I'm like, no, listen. And he goes, well, you never BS me before. And I said, man, I'm not kidding. He says, it. he's like, what? Mm. And, and I mean, why would, you know, why would he mm. go speak at a commencement and then run around? Look, Jesse's had people claim that he dances around on tables drunk. The guy hasn't <laughs> had alcohol in like 15, 16 years. Right. The point is, is that it, it's not true. And I believe Jesse. But is there a lawsuit? That's yeah, all. That, that, yeah, we've heard both sides of the story over and over again. I'm just wondering if it's is still, there still a, a lawsuit? case. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know I'm wrong with it. I apologize. Uh, it's okay. Nah. No. Uh, right, well, let me just please. say what's happened with the lawsuit. Just Google Jesse Ventura. Sure. Click News. Okay. Uh, it's gone to court. The okay. judges refused to throw it out. Okay. Like Kyle's wanted. Mm. Uh, they're now going for you know the extreme uh, damages because uh, uh, Kyle has no witnesses. He has people he told about it later, and Jesse has just all the witnesses, the owner oh. of the place, everybody that was there. But Kyle knows that he's either he's just got to push this all the way. Uh, I mean, you can go read their filing. Uh, it's pretty amazing. Now n now his lawyer is implying, well, maybe it was somebody who looked like Jesse, and he was uh, wrong. The problem is Jesse was there, and the fight didn't happen, and it would have been okay. all over the news. Okay. And, yep. and Kyle, okay. Kyle in his own okay. book, yep. repeatedly talks about how uh, he's lied to people. Right. Okay. okay, so that's – and the judge saw that. Okay. And uh, I'm just telling you right now, okay. Jesse is uh, going ahead with the lawsuit. Okay. And, 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 and he may leave the so, United States forever, basically. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, so uh, hold on. If yeah, he doesn't yeah. win, because okay. he says this country cannot be trusted. Yeah. And you can say what you want okay. about Jesse Ventura. The point is, is that he's been wronged in this area. All right. Yeah, Listen. that's what it's a, basically. They tried uh, Chris Kyle went for probably a motion to dismiss, and the judge said no. There is some evidence to proceed yeah. here with with what Jesse is right. saying. Okay. Uh -huh. I, I honestly just didn't. We're know running the out of uh, time with yes, uh, Real Alex Jones on Twitter. Um, I got the clip from Infowars. Piers Morgan from last night. Because you, you referenced it a couple oh, times. Oh, let me, let me hear this. It's a quick clip. Let me hear this uh, clip. The most horrifying aspect is what happens after these outrages is that the NRA and the others get on television, spread all the fear, Wayne Lapierre and Alex Jones and others, mm. and then the Americans rush out and buy ever more of these weapons and ever more of this ammunition. And so it goes on. And the, well, only, uh, the only solution is apparently to arm everybody else. I mean, I agree with you. I mean, didn't gun, I, I think the purchase of guns went up after Sandy Hook. Look, it, it is pathetic. It is, it is ridiculous that you are allowed. I don't care what the justification is, that you are allowed in this country to own a semi-automatic weapon, <laughs> much less a handgun. But what do you need a semi-automatic weapon? weapon for the only reason i think you need it is pierce challenge alex jones to a boxing match show up with a semi-automatic that you got <laughs> legally and pop him i'd love to see that <laughs> in uniform <laughs> Wow. Oh, they're just laughing along uh, about shooting wow. you. And then Pierce said, well, I would use my brother's uniform, I yeah. think. That wasn't yeah. part of the clip there. Yeah, wow. Weird. Yeah, I would be. Uh, are, are you a little nervous there, Alex? Well, it's clear that when they're earlier in the show going, oh, gee, I hope nothing happens to his kids. I hope they don't oh, get boy. shot. And this is like in a Goodfellas movie or something where they're like, you better turn over the restaurant. Hope nothing happens to your kids. Uh, and so they're like, hope nothing happens to the kids. You know what's interesting? I wonder uh, if I wonder if ESP if uh, if uh, CNN will uh, apologize for those comments. Oh, I'm ESPN sure. apologize for Brent Musburger praising an attractive woman. I wonder if CNN will apologize for that, the hosts allowing joking be. about shooting By a way, former I guest. I didn't think that guy saying she was attractive was anything wrong. Exactly. No, of course not. Of course there wasn't. Not. That, that's of what I'm saying. Not. It was just a guy a, a, a Appreciating an attractive girl, but no. apparently that's not allowed in this country. And, and that's either. the world she lives in. And by the she way, she makes her living off being attractive. She right. makes money off that. If you were a liberal and that was on Fox and they were joking about shooting you, oh. that would be fucking news everywhere. Right. People would be talking about the host being fired, but because you take a pro gun stance and, and peers takes the uh, company line, mm -hmm. uh, it's perfectly acceptable it for yeah. them to joke. And, and the woman, who's usually the one who goes, whoa, goes, yeah, that I'd like to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah. It's like, I'll wear my brother's uniform. And it's obviously a little moment between them. Uh, well, they uh, enjoyed his it. His brother's the gimp from Pulp Fiction, by the way. <laughs> they enjoyed it. <laughs> Alex, yeah, we, we've run out of time. We yeah, got, we got Alex, a, thanks so much, man. Thanks for the call. We got a very important guest standing by. Keep but, the uh, fight going, Alex. Stay all safe, right, my hey, brother. Uh, all the statistics are up at InfoWars.com. Take care, gentlemen. All right, Take it easy. Yeah, right. Alex Jones.
God I enjoyed Alex, Alex very much. Today. I can't wait till we hate him again. I enjoyed him after that love fest. But I did enjoy people love twittering fest me. With you were against those yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, that's Jimmy's saying shit that that's he was preaching about yesterday. I think you, uh, you and Alex should get a room next oh, time he's in New York. Well, there, well, love fest, right? Oh, 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 love bit, fest. Me and him. Bit. I picture oh. me and him just, just naked. Oiling our guns. No, and you're, by that I mean our penises. You're so right. No, you're no, so right. No, you're oh. absolutely. Mm. Yeah. <laughs>